So what we're gonna do is set this up right now. I have to say it's so tiny that I was a little bit concerned about getting to everything, having to take the ducts off and the props off and all that to get to things. But Flywoo has actually made that pretty easy in two ways. Number one, the flight controller on the bottom, the micro USB connector for the flight controller is right here on the bottom, so you don't have to take anything off to get to it, to hook it up to beta flight. And then number two, the air unit, the DJI air unit, is actually on the side right here, and they included this little L-shaped cable so you can plug it into the air unit right here in the back without having to take anything apart. And I just did it with one hand, super, super easy to do. So that's gonna allow you to activate your air unit, do your updates on it with uh, firmware and stuff like that. And that's the first thing we're gonna do. So what you're gonna need to set this up is if it's a bind and fly slash plug and play like this one, you'll need your DJI radio, the FPV version. You will need your goggles with the battery. And because it's an O3 unit, it's gonna work with the Integra or the goggles two or the goggles V2. Right here, I have the goggles two. You'll need your laptop with Betaflight and DJI Assistant, and we'll link to those two software programs down below. And you'll need a micro USB cable that carries data. Now, one thing you can get is a micro USB cable that is a charge only. If for some reason your quad is not showing up in Betaflight, that's probably the problem. I've had that happen. It's also nice to have a little round fan like this because the air unit does get really hot when you plug it in, and you do have to have it plugged in to make all this stuff work. So I'm gonna turn this fan on and actually set the quad right there and then have the cables connected so the air unit is getting some airflow, hence the name, across it. So we'll go ahead and plug in the adapter that I need because everything is at USB-A. Plug that in right there. You can't go USB-C to USB-C into a laptop like this. You have to go USB-C to USB-A and then adapt it back to USB-C. Don't know why, but if you try to go straight from USB-C to USB-C, it sometimes doesn't work. We're gonna go ahead and open up uh, DJI Assistant 2. There's several different versions. So you wanna make sure you open DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series, not the FPV series. I don't know why that is. And then you also wanna make sure that this cable is seated really well into the air unit. I don't think I had it pushed in all the way before and so it wasn't showing up. But now it is, so we'll go ahead and click on the air unit and we will activate. And now it wants my account info. It looks like we are on the most recent version um, from January of last year, 2023. So you can quit that. We wanna to bind to the goggles first and then to the remote. So you'll need your cable for the goggles and go ahead and plug this in, turn on the power. So after a little bit of uh, discussion, thanks to Chris, uh, the place you need to push the button is a little cut out. If you take a toothpick, you can, you can feel the button is right there. It's, you don't have to remove anything to get to it. I can't even see it, but I can feel it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bind the goggles. You push down the little center button right here in the goggles, right in the center, right above your nose. They'll make that beeping noise. So it's a little bit challenging to find the button that you push to get the air unit to bind because there's these bright lights on the side, which are awesome when you're flying, but they're not great when you're trying to see inside there. But basically just know that the opposite side of the USB-C connector is where the button is. And there is a little green light that says it's bound. The button is in this little cutout right here. You just have to find it and feel it. Once you've bound to the goggles, then you have to push it again to bind to the radio. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll turn the radio on. And the way the radio works for binding is once it's kind of booted up, you hold down the power button for a couple of seconds just once. Don't double tap it, puts it into bind mode. And then you get the pleasure of pushing this button again, or trying to anyway. I wasn't able to do it. Chris had to come in and save, save my butt. Um, so let's see if I can do it this time. It's bound, yay! Uh, 
Yeah, it's really not that hard normally, but because this uh, air unit is so enclosed in all that prop guards and such, it's a little harder than normal. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the micro USB cable. Make sure your battery is still plugged in. Open up Betaflight. Now we're gonna plug the micro USB cable in and hit connect and let's see if we see it. All right, we're connected to it. So now what we wanna do, we are going to go ahead and adjust these different buttons and such to how I like them. You can do it however you want. You click on the receiver tab, make sure that things are actually doing what they should do. So your roll is rolling, your pitch is pitching, your yaw is yawing, and your throttle is throttling. That's good. So what we wanna do is figure out what is what on the modes. And so we want to be able to arm with the start stop button. Oh, right now that does the lights. Okay, Let's see what aux that is. That's aux four. Okay, we'll make the lights the pause button over here. Okay, this is aux three. Gonna make this the lights. Okay, that's now working. Aux four, I'm gonna make arm. That's working. So this must be aux two. I'm gonna make angle mode, aux two. So down is angle, and the horizon will be in the middle. That'll be aux two as well. And then all the way up will be acro, and then C1. Oh, C1 is beeper. Okay, that's I'm happy with that. Okay, so GPS rescue will be aux one. Okay, so I've got arm disarm, angle horizon acro. I've got lights. I've got beeper, flip over after crash. So we will make flip over after crash on the same as GPS rescue, yeah. So that'll be Sox one. In the middle, it's flip over after crash. At the top, it is nothing. So actually, I should make this the opposite. I make, should make it all the way down is nothing. In the middle is flip over and all the way up is GPS. I like down away to be my default setting. So I'm gonna save. And then the rates, we'll just take a look real quick. 